Hi, I'm Ailey for Design Break and today I'm going to share my experience of Monday.com versus Trello for running a design agency or a freelance design business. There are so many management and productivity tools out there, it can be really difficult to know uh, which tools might work for your agency or your workflow. Um, I've tried out a few different ones, so I'm just going to go through my experience of the two main ones that I've had a lot of experience with, and that's Monday.com and Trello. Trello and Monday are both tools that I've used for simple project management all the way up to a complete agency overview, so for running running projects, uh, client management, accounting and admin sort of tasks, to our own content management and just an overview of everything that we need to keep tabs on uh, with running an agency. So I thought it'd be in a good place to sort of share my experience and help you guys work out which tool might be better for you. First of all, I thought I'd go over what each one is. So I'll start with Monday. Uh, in their own words, Monday is an operating system that powers teams to run projects and workflows with confidence. In their own words, Trello is the easy, free, flexible and visual way to manage your projects and organize anything. Okay, so first impressions. So when you land on the monday.com homepage, this is what it looks like. Um, so it's quite quite a nice interface. Um, it looks really modern and up to date. Um, it really sells itself to designers as sort of a tool that... Um, I mean, I would definitely want to use this as a designer. It looks really nice. It looks like it's clean and easy to use. Trello first impressions. So it looks um, a little bit less modern and up to date when you're comparing it to Monday, but it still looks like a good tool that I'd want to use. Cost is probably going to be a big factor in your decision making for what tool you're going to use. Okay, so looking at pricing, Monday doesn't actually have a fully free version. It's got a 14 day free trial that you can sign up and get access to the features and sort of try it out and work out if you do want to go ahead and subscribe to it. And then it's got different tiered versions depending on your needs and how how sort of fancy you want the setup to be with automations and stuff. Trello, on the other hand, does have a free version that you can com- comfortably use to manage projects and manage your, your workflows. Um, it does also have paid versions that give you more automations and a lot more features. Uh, but you can get away with using just the free version. Okay, so next I thought I'd just go over how each one works. Just a really quick overview just to show you. Monday's interface is built up of boards uh, with groups inside them and then each item within the group is called uh, Pulse. And they've actually recently added on sub-items and other features within each Pulse. Um, we won't go into too much detail. I just wanted to give you an overview of how, how it's set up and how it's built. Trello is quite similar. So you've got the board, which is the main overview space um, and then within that you've got lists and cards so the whole point of Trello is the Kanban view you can really easily drag cards about and really get a good visual overview of what you're doing whereas Monday um, it's a bit more useful to think of that as tables it does actually have a Kanban view as well but the main I think the main way most people use Monday is in the table layout it's also worth mentioning that both Monday and Trello have phone apps. Um, they've got desktop apps and you can just use the browser if you want to do that to just get a quick look in at what you've got to do that day. In terms of project management, this is how we use Monday to manage projects. So we've got the small projects up at the top, all just on one group, each with its own pulse and notes inside. And then bigger projects uh, have their own group that has all the details and different moving parts of that project within it. We have done much, much larger projects that have their own actual board. uh, But for the most part, we just keep everything in the same board uh, because you can do that with Monday. You can have all the different um, you can have all the different groups, all the different projects there. And then you can just easily see what needs to be done. You can assign different team members to them and you can even set up different views. So. I've got a column here for flagged and high priority items. I can just filter by that so we can just see all of the high priority items that need to be done uh, with more urgency. So for Trello, it made more sense for us for each project to have its own board. um, And that way you could easily have the different stages set up and then you can drag to do's from one one list to another list. So this is an example board of a branding project um, on Trello. 
So it's set up with the different stages um, as you move through the project, sort of like a timeline. You could drag items from from one stage to another stage and then within each card, uh, you've got all the different functionalities in there as well. So both tools have the ability to add all the information that you need for each project or each item uh, within the list or cards or however you want to have it set up to run your project. Um, guess it just depends on how you work. We used to use Trello, but then we moved on to Monday over a year ago now. The main reason for moving from Trello to Monday was just the ability to see everything as an overview really easily. Um, that could have just been the way that we had Trello set up, but I really like how in Monday you can have statuses uh, and you can you can set these up yourself, how, how you want them to look and what you want them to say. You can color code it and also have a description there so everyone can know sort of where you're at on a project. But it's, I felt like it was just a lot more visual on Monday and much easier to make sense of with a quick overview. Whereas Trello was almost too simple for what we needed to use it for. Sometimes simple is better. So like you can add color coding tags here uh, like this board has. So you can get a quick overview. But I think we were finding that wasn't as descriptive and wasn't as easy to make sense of as we were finding is with Monday. Another thing we really liked about Monday was that you can really customize how you see it. So this is a, an example of a project we're running at the moment. You can see the timeline view, you can set deadlines and then have a sort of overview of where you're at in the project and what's ahead. Um, and then you can also set up dashboards. So, so you can take an overall view, sort of summary of all of your boards and sort of display what you want to see at a glance, um, which is really handy, all sorts of different widgets, and they're always developing new features for this, which is really cool. Okay, so that was just a quick look at both of the tools. Both are really great tools for people who are visually organized and like to see all the information visually. Trello is great for a simple overview, and if you work well with the Kanban workflow, I really like how you can drag items across. I found that really handy, especially handy for a to-do list where you've got to do working on and completed, which you can easily have a list of things you have to do and drag things about as they're in different stages of the process. I think the most important thing to, to remember and keep in mind is that there are loads of tools with so many fancy features, but the, the most useful tool is the one that you're actually going to use. So you can pay a lot for a subscription of a really fancy productivity tool uh, and then not use it and then just end up using a a spreadsheet to manage your projects because that's just the way that you and your team work. So I'd really recommend signing up for free trials and just trying out a few different tools just to get a feel for them without spending too much time really setting them up and going into too much detail. Just to get an initial feel for each one and work out which one might work best for your team. If you're more likely to enjoy the simplicity and straightforward workflow of Trello, then that's definitely better for you. But if you need a much more detailed tool where you can have automations and different views and set up different workflows. Monday might be the tool for you. So that was just a quick overview of Monday versus Trello in my experience. But like I said, the best tool is always just going to be the tool that you're actually going to use.